standing at the base of Mount Shasta, and we're going to attempt to go up there today, me and Steve Gookin, um, on this date of, what is the date? 13th of October. 13th of October, a Saturday, and we're going to, that's our destination right over there. The top of Mount Shasta is more or less centered. You'll notice the red banks, which, oops, I'll go a little slower. You notice the red banks. Red banks are about 12,500. Um, let's see what else do we need to cover. There's also another route on this mountain. It's called Sergeant's Ridge. And see if I can get a good picture of it. You would go up the greenery in the center of the screen, go up, and right below the center of the light, lighter colored rock is called, um, I think it's called the Crescent, and it's about a 12,000 foot kind of flat area that's formed into a crescent with a glacier below it. And then you would follow the ridge to the rest, to the top of the mountain. This is a sign-in area. If you go above 10,000 feet, you now need to have a uh, wilderness permit. The permit costs about $15 at last check. And there's a map. In the center is Mount Shasta. the center is the top. These are actually okay walking shoes. They've got a little bit of ankle support on them. The average person should have an ankle that goes up to here because they don't have strong um, uh, ankles. Uh, but because I do a lot of hiking and people like me who do a lot of hiking can usually get away with short, um, just more like tennis shoes. This will actually extend your distance because you don't have as much weight on your feet. But this is just what I prefer to wear. If the weather gets really bad, I'll go to a full boot. What brand are they? I don't know. Wolverine or something. High tech. Very standard brand. We are um, on the trail about a half mile up. Currently we can see parts of uh, Mount Shasta City, but nothing real significant yet. Uh, over to our right is what we refer to as the thumb, and uh, right now we're looking up at it, but uh, when you get up on high, it, it's so small it does, it's hardly even noticeable. Uh, people doing this hike should probably make sure that they're ready to uh, get to some pretty thin air. Altitude sickness is real. and. Uh, it's one of the best ways to avoid it is to uh, get get up high for a few days or if you live in Mount Sh Shasta City you're you're at a 3,000 foot advantage um, also things like Gucanade or other electrolyte replacement drinks uh, will help against uh, guard against the uh, altitude sickness
Southeast, my best guess. Could be. It was supposed to be windy today and tomorrow. Uh huh. We're almost 10,000 feet, which is high as you can go without getting a permit, uh, which is just as well because I don't feel like doing anything more today. I think I'm still recovering from that darn cold. I'm I'm too weak for what I should be able to do. Weekend. Okay. Well, the wind is coming up, but my, my bandana is flapping. Steve are enjoying being up here. It's great. You can see the city of Mount Shasta just right down below. If uh, Steve can point to it. Right over there in the lake, Lake Siskiyou. And the eddies are right behind it. And could you point it at uh, Black Butte? One moment. Pointing at Black View. And that is Black View. I'm pointing out uh, what's left of the ski resort. You can see some white, white uh, structures, the cement, uh, some old wood over on that kind of platform over there, and there's a little bit of stuff down below, uh, below that. And that's pretty much all there is on the upper end, as far as uh, remains from the original um, ski resort. Uh, there used to be a building down below, but I believe they've taken it down now. Uh, they, I just heard today that there was a request a few years ago to put a new ski resort back up here, uh, but that was denied, so it doesn't look like they'll, they'll have one. And it suits me just fine. Probably a lot of other people are happy not to have a new resort up here. On the other side of that far mountain down below in the tree line, there is a ski resort on private land and uh, I'm told that it, ha it has about three lifts. So there is a ski resort, it's just not as high up on the mountain. All right. Looks like somebody built a little fort here of some sorts for protection against maybe snow or something. There it is. There's Steve way down there. <laughs> 